Good morning everyone. Today is Thursday. It is the 9th of 2023 and we're ready to start in the book of Acts. We finished up in the book of John yesterday so we're ready for Acts 1. Well we know what Judas did in praying Christ and how that he went out so so they decided to pick another disciple. Of course, it was all ordained by God. In the 26th verse of Acts 1, it says, And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. The lot fell upon Matthias. It was already foreordained before they cast lots who the lot would fall upon. God's the one that casts all the lots. God's the one that chooses whose lot's going to fall on who. You know, men might cast lots, but God's the one that makes the decision. If you flip a coin, the determination of whether it ends up heads or tails is not in your hands. Beginning with verse 1, the former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach. Until the day in which he was taken up, after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them of forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And being set, assembled together with them, commanded th them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith, Ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Now we see earlier that Jesus Christ breathed on the disciples and the Holy Ghost they received the Holy Spirit at another time and Christ breathed on them when they therefore were come together they asked him saying Lord wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel and he said to them it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. When he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by, by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come so come in like manner as you've seen him go into heaven. They returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey. And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew and Ju J Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus and Simon Lotus and Judas the brother of James. These all continue with one accord in prayer and with supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. And in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said the number of names together were about a hundred and twenty. Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was a guide to them that took Jesus. For he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and falling headlong he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem insomuch as that field is called their prop in their proper tongue a seldoma, that is to say the field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let this his habitation be desolate and let no man dwell therein and his bishopric shall let another take. Wherefore of these men which have company with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, 
beginning from the baptism of John until that same day that he was taken up from us, one must be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. And they appointed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was surnamed Justice and Matthias. And they prayed and said, Lord, thou Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, show whether of these two thou hast chosen, that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Well, we see here the ascension of Christ, the disciples and the women going to the upper room, the um, account of Judas and his burial and where he was buried and then the um, choosing of Matthias to replace Judas by his lot their lot falling on Matthias this is an absolute affirmation of this total sovereignty of God in all things I was talking with some brethren yesterday and we were talking about current events and Trump and Biden and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and uh, different people running for president. Um, had those debates last night by the five Republican candidates running against Trump. Christie and Scott and and uh, that other guy, I can never pronounce his name. <laughs> the guy that I can't pronounce his name. And the gal that used to be in the, the United Nations under Trump that Trump calls bird brain and Christy which Trump calls fat pig Trump likes to call names doesn't he and um, DeSantis that Trump calls the sanctimonious have you ever noticed how Trump always points his finger of anyone that doesn't agree with him on everything but anyway the point is that the most important passage in this passage of Luke we were talking about with our brethren is the lot fell upon Matthias. You know, down through the years, the lot has fell upon different people to be president. God's the one that ordained it. The lot fell upon Truman. The lot fell upon Nixon. The lot fell upon Eisenhower. The lot fell upon Roosevelt. The lot fell upon... Uh, Clinton, the lot fell upon Obama, the lot fell upon Jimmy Carter, the lot fell upon uh, John Kennedy, the lot fell upon uh, Obama, the lot fell upon uh, Trump, the lot fell upon Biden. And the lot's going to fall again. And we don't know who the lot's going to fall upon, but God does, right? And so, it says that um, Christ says in this chapter, he tells them, they ask him when he was going to um, reestablish, okay? Uh, the kingdom of Israel. The kingdom of Israel is not an earthly kingdom. The kingdom of Israel is a heavenly kingdom. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. And he says that it's not for you to know the time or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. 
they asked him another time when he was coming back, and he says, No man knoweth the time, only the Father. But he does tell them that they would receive power after the Holy Ghost came upon them, and they would be witnesses unto him both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and under most parts of the earth. He did tell them they would be uh, going into all the world. And uh, so they witnessed the ascension of Christ going back into heaven. And so this is a reaffirmation that we cannot control the events in our world. There's a lot of people saying, you know, we by our own vote, by going and voting in election, can control the outcome of who is, is put in office. If you want to count voting as casting lots, that's fine with me. <laughs> okay. Your vote is like casting lots, right? But listen, God's in charge of the votes. He's in charge of who gets in. In fact, he's over he's even over the voter fraud going on. You ever thought about that? God is over the voter fraud going on. See, that election was rigged. Well, you know who rigged it? God rigged it. <laughs> okay. God rigged the election. There's a sign out here on the way to Eureka Springs. A guy's got a sign up in his yard. God won. <laughs> God won. God wins every time. You know? And uh, the Bible says, In him we live and move and have our very being. Does it not? Well, then may the good Lord be with you today, and let us never forget the lot fell upon Matthias. God bless.